Hey, welcome back to 90s and Ball Cards. Jake Roy here. So I've got a fun product to bust open. At least it was fun for me when I was a kid. I remember having a lot of fun opening these when I was actually uh, on summer break one year and getting a lot of inserts. Uh, but there's even better things than just the inserts that we could get in here. So let's get right into it. Alright, so today we've got 2000-2001 Upper Deck. We've got 20 packs total, so we've got 18 regular hobby packs, these are Series 1, and then we have two of the e-card packs. So interesting thing with the e-card packs, there's one card per pack. These were included as box toppers in the Series 1 boxes, so uh, you get one card, you basically go online, and we'll talk about it in a little bit more detail, but you go online with a code that's on here, and it would show if you basically got a card to redeem, or if you just have the card that you pulled here. So, you know, we've got the box toppers here for those, and then we've got the potential fire in these. So there's a lot of crazy stuff. Like I said at the beginning, I remember going on uh, summer vacation with my parents, and there was a, a card shop near where we were vacationing, and they had a bunch of new packs. These were, they were actually Series 2 of 2000-2001 Upper Deck. So my father got myself and my brothers some to have some fun with it, and I remember pulling out some insert sets that I was in love with, some Kevin Garnett's. I was a big Kevin Garnett fan. I still like Kevin Garnett. And I really like the design of them, and it felt like I was getting inserts really regularly. I felt like I did really well with inserts. Uh, looking at the pack odds in hindsight, that was intended to, to make sure that the inserts are pretty easy to get. But there's also a ton of different jersey cards. There's low numbered parallels in here. There's jersey autos, there's combo jerseys. We can get Jordan, KG, Kobe, my main man, Penny. All the great players of that era are potentially in here, so there's a lot of exciting stuff we could pull. And then, like I said, the low numbered parallels of all the players in the base set are also really exciting. So let's get right into what we can pull and see if we get some fun. Okay, so here we've got some PC items that we could pull. Starting out with the E tops, or the E, the E card. So these are the box toppers. So this is the Penny Hardaway, my my PC guy. This is one of the, what we'll see in those box topper packs. So you can see right down here, we've got the code that would be what you'd enter online to see what you could get. So, you know, kind of the theme of the design is a little bit of a digital type of theme, kind of pixelated stuff, uh, nothing too crazy. And then, you know, the back is pretty simple as well, but you know, these were fun cards that, you know, we'll see a couple of, hopefully we could get the Kobe. That's the best one we could get. The other players we could get, KG was a big guy. Uh, Reggie Miller, Karl Malone, and Sharif Abdul Rahim, I think. There's a total of six players that we could pull in the set. So, you know, unfortunately, Penny's in his son's uniform for all these cards, but that's all right. I still love them. And then what we're looking to get, or what you could have gotten with the E cards, they've all expired at this point, but about one in 12 of those cards, you could actually get a, a hit, so to speak. So you always at least get the card. But then when you go online, you put the code in, you see if you get a card such as this. So if we got a Sharif Abdurrahim back in the day that had one of the codes, it would turn into potentially a jersey card. So like here we have the jersey card number to 300 that we could have gotten. They also had jersey autos, they had combo cards. So this is gonna be similar to what you could have seen in the regular set jersey cards, but you've got the Evolve up here. Uh, so that's what they were kind of saying with the E cards, they would evolve into one of these hits. So, you know, just the basic jersey card essentially, just uh, a little bit different for the E card. So that's what we could get for those box toppers. Now getting into the regular packs. So starting out here, we've got True Talents. This is a Kobe at one in three packs. Not a ton of value here, but uh, kind of simple design, something that you can get a lot of different players that are stars, you know, some silver hollow, not even hollow, just silver foil there. But it is a cool card uh, with the picture there. I like the picture that they have for Kobe. Uh, nice action shot there for him. Pretty simple stuff, simple on the back as well, uh, but kind of a, a clean design. So, you know, probably max you're looking at on a card like this is about $5. But in most cases, I see these going for like a, a buck or two, not a ton of value, even for Kobe. Next up, we've got Master of the Arts. So this is a KG. Uh, these were one in six packs, so pretty common to pull again. This one's a little bit different. You've got some foil over the whole card, uh, you know, and then a nice action shot. I, I like it, you know, with him, him kind of from the top. It's a cool picture. And I love the shoes there. I love the black jersey. Um, for the Timberwolves with, with KG cards. That's something I always gravitate towards. And the, the shoes actually were a pair of shoes I really wanted. I got later on in life, 
uh, but there was a rumor that I read online that those shoes were designed by Nike and they were potentially going to be a Penny Hardaway signature shoe if he had stayed with the Magic for another season, but he ended up getting dealt. So uh, they ended up repurposing those. So I always love those shoes and that little bit of a rumor. I don't know how factual that rumor may be, uh, but that's that's what we hear. So fun cards and then the horizontal back is kind of neat. It's kind of a nice elegant design in some ways, but again, not a ton of value here. Again, this KG is probably a one to $3 card. So nothing crazy for value. Then we're moving up. Uh, so total dominance, these are one in 12. So this is an Iverson, kind of a, a little bit more of an intricate design. I like how you've got the picture of the player and then a, a little headshot there. Uh, you've got a little bit more design here. Again, you know, some foil on there. Definitely something that when you pull it out of the pack, you know you've got something in your hand. So that's kind of neat. Not a ton of value here again. You know, these insert cards weren't terribly rare and uh, they weren't, you know, there's no die cuts. There's not a ton of hollow foil. There's not, there's nothing really revolutionary with, with many of these. So, you know, the back's pretty simple as well. Pretty simple and plain. So, you know, again, Iverson, one to five dollars, maybe. And then moving up here, we've got the lightning strikes. So these were one in 12 packs. We've got an Iverson and then we've got the KG as well. So these were, again, another little bit of, foil card and then you've got some more designing there i i really did like these cards uh, i know that we've talked a lot about lightning bolts in the 90s uh you know we're in the year 2000 still lightning bolts were prevalent you can see it on both these cards the same design here and i like how they change the colors to kind of match the team colors of each player you know so you've got kind of like a green blue here with timberwolves and again like i said i love the black jersey those shoes again there for the kg love those and then the Iverson too. I, I love Iverson shoes. I had a lot of Iverson shoes when I was in middle school and I did wear these. These were some of the most comfortable shoes I remember playing in with the DMX technology, but I digress. <laughs> so uh, then on the back, I like these two on the back, uh, kind of simple, but again, not a ton of value here. Uh, you know, not the most rare cards at one in 12, just like the total dominance. So you're probably looking at a buck to $3 for each of these, but fun cards. And again, something that you definitely notice when you're pulling it out of the pack which was the key. All right, and then we're going up a little bit more. So Graphic Jam, these were one in 14 packs, so not a ton more rare, but definitely cool. Uh, this is the most intricate design that they have for these insert cards in series one. So the Vince Carter, Vince was as hot as they come uh, at that point in time. So this was a huge card if you pulled one. And uh, great picture, great action shot of him with a great dunk, which Vince Carter was famous for and still continues to be. So this was a fun card. You know, one in 14 packs, not the rarest thing in the world, but again, something that when you pull it out, you know, you get something that's fun, so. Now we're getting to some of the, the potential fire. So first we've got the silver parallel. So the silver parallels in series one are numbered to 500. Both of these are series two, coincidentally, they were numbered to 100 in series two. So we've got a Mark Jackson, uh, not the point guard, this was the center, <laughs> Mark Jackson, who had a short career. And we've got Derek McKee for all the Pacers fans out there. So these are fun insert cards. You know, I would love to see us get a star like a Kobe, an Iverson, a KG, uh, and I would absolutely love to get a penny. I don't have, you know, whether it's the one number to 100 or the one number to 500 for any of those players for my PC. So just these kind of common players. So these ones of common players, you know, again, not a ton of value unless you get one of the, the star players. So that's what we're really looking for. And you can definitely tell the difference when we were starting to open the packs with the silver foil, that's how you can denote it if you don't notice this uh, serial number because it can be a little bit hard on some of the pictures to pick up. And then on the back, you've got a silver backing on there as well. And you'll see when we pull the, the base cards that the silver is not there for all the cards. So that's fun. And then the next step up from that is the gold parallel. So you can see all the foil here is gold. These were numbered to 100. This is series one. Number two, 100 in series one, they're, they're lower numbered in series two, but what we're looking at for these packs is potentially getting some that are numbered to 100. So again, love to see the stars. That's what we're really shooting for uh, in a lot of these packs is to see some stars in these parallels. So number to 100, pretty rare to pull these. And uh, you know, Chris Mills, not a ton of value, but it's still a rare card. These are very, very hard to find. And uh, then on the back, just like we saw before, you got gold instead of the silver here. So another way to know what you've got on either side. And now getting to some of the memorabilia. So first we've got the MJ materials. These were case hits. So this is a piece of his suit, like an actual uh, suit jacket. 
and uh, you know, one per case, you could get suits, you could get a piece of a uh, jersey, you could get a piece of a shirt, you could get a piece of a shoe. They have combos where you could get two, three, or four pieces. I think there's even a patch. Some of them are numbered to 25, 23, 100. Uh, you know, so this is one of the least valuable, but I think this is really cool. He had retired at this point in time, so not trying to hide a, a piece of a jersey in a card where he didn't actually play. And, you know, he was a team executive at the point. Uh, so this really is fitting. I think that the piece of a suit is, is pretty cool. Not a ton of value, but still pretty rare. So I would love to see us get one of these. And you can see these are pretty thick cards too. So um, these would be fun to get. Then some, some of my fond memories <laughs> really came with some of these cards. So uh, first looking here at the jersey cards. So just a regular game jersey. You're looking at one in 287 packs. So very rare. As we saw in the 90s, they started to get less and less hard to pull, but still 287 packs is a very hard pull. So just a regular jersey card would be 287 packs. And this was a jersey card that I got as a gift uh, from one of my family members back in the day and I've had you know, since then. So this is one that I've held near and dear to my heart. So uh, a sweet piece of a penny jersey. And I think this was actually my first ever jersey card, let alone of penny. So this is one that it will never be leaving my PC by any means. Uh, you know, the back is pretty simple. You can see a little indentation there. These are fairly thick cards and they do have multicolored pieces uh, from different parts of the jerseys. And then there are also patch cards. So the patch cards, uh, I don't have an example of, but those were one in 7,500 packs. So I would absolutely love to see us get a patch card, especially of Penny. Uh, those are pretty thick cards typically, you know, a piece of the player's name or the player's number or the team name on the front is what you're typically looking at with those. So one in 7,500 packs would be incredible to pull one of those. And then another card that uh, has been near and dear since I got it in my collection are the Jersey Autos. So the Jersey Autos, uh, you know, this is one that I got when I was probably in middle school, high school. Um, this was my first ever Penny Hardaway autograph card. Uh, and actually my brother got it and gave it to me uh, right around his birthday, coincidentally. <laughs> so uh, it was a very nice gift uh, to get to get from him. But uh, this was a two color patch. Uh, it's not numbered or anything, but these were very rare to, to pull out of packs. Uh, and again, it's just one that holds a lot of sentimental value to me and uh, it will never ever leave my PC. So these are actually both series two inserts. The one that we could get in series one, and yes, they did do different inserts in series one and series two, even for the jersey. So this is again, the Penny Jersey Auto. Uh, and you can see here that it's a different picture, but still the same design essentially. And it's interesting. I always like to notice that the autograph that Penny Hardaway uses um, is very irregular. <laughs> so you can see here, he signed it as Penny Hardway, and then here it's almost like an Anthony Hardway. The two signatures couldn't look more dissimilar. Uh, and I know sometimes it does cause, you know, a lot of consternation from collectors when they're looking at stuff that isn't uh, a packed, pulled card. You know, if it's a piece of memorabilia that's autographed by him, it can be very difficult if it's not been authenticated to tell if you're looking at buying something that's a legit Penny autograph. So. That's one of my words of caution to always look for authentication with Penny's Auto, if you can. So that's what we can get for those. There are also combo jersey cards. The combo jersey cards are numbered to 50. So those are very rare. And really the top one that we get is a Kobe and a Kevin Garnett or a Jordan and a Kobe. Uh, they do also have some of the other Hall of Famers. I know that there's Dr. J is one of the players that you could get in a combo. There's a whole bunch of other great stars. Really all the combos for the most part in series one are of star players or Hall of Famers. Um, so let's bust in and hope we get some fire. All right, so we're gonna start off with the two box top E card packs. All right, first one here, Reggie Miller. Not bad, a little corner ding, but uh, that's not uncommon for box toppers. All right, let's see who we've got in the second one. All right, nice. All right, KG, I love that. All right, it's not, not a bad start, but really wanna get some fire in these packs.
All right, I thought that was an Iverson. I got excited, <laughs> but no, George Lynch. George Lynch is excited. I almost mistaken for Iverson. Gary Payton, Danielle Marshall, straight to the Jazz. The Charles Oakley, Avery Johnson, Jerome Williams, James Posey, Arvidas Sabonis, Doug Christie, and there we go with our first insert. Total dominance of Alonzo Mourning. So that is one in 12 packs. Not a bad start. Oh, we got not Scotty Pippen. <laughs> yeah, can't dunk in the dunk contest, Daryl Armstrong. Nice. And there we go, we got the dream. Got KG. Oh, there's a checklist on the bottom. <laughs> Gotta love the checklist. I gotta love the sticking. Yeah, that's not great. George McCloud. That's a nice picture of KG. Yikes. Matt Geiger. Who's this? Quincy Lewis. Okay. What's this? Y2K? Y3K, something like that. Kenny Martin? Yeah, is it just a. It's a subset. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a true talent. Of Antonio McDice. Antonio McDice, all right. All right, Loy Vaught, Mitch Richmond. Yeah, this sticking is getting worse <laughs> the further we go. Jeez. That's good, because we're only three packs. Yeah, I know, right? There we go, Keith Van Horn. What do you mean, there we go? <laughs> Some people like him. Kevin Willis. There we go, Steve Kerr. I mean, at least he's a good coach. Ron Harper, there's your boy. Jamal Mashburn. Hey, Ron Harper was a great point guard in the triangle offense. Yes, he was. Gary Trent. There's the same Kenya Martin, very nice. And, all right, another insert true talent of Glenn Robinson. Johnson, Wally Zerbiak, Tara Nesby. Oh, there's your Y2K Kobe. Nice. Followed by Y2K KG. Okay. Getting better. Followed by Devin George. Just keep getting better. We can get parallels with these two. Um, Bo Outlaw. And there's, what's that? Paul Pierce, Master of the Arts. Mm -hmm. So is that one inter port? In every pack so far? So far. I'm telling you, I think it's an insert for in every pack. Well, I hope the insert we get in this pack is a jersey. No miss. <laughs> Mark Bryant. Lorenzen Wright. Sean Marion. Austin Crozier, Dikembe, Matumbo. I'll put him in the stars, I guess, right? Tony Kukoc with the Sixers. Jason Williams, very nice. Paul Pierce Bass. T Mac. True Talents, Mike Bibby. John Amici, your boy, Michael Finley, mm -hmm. Pat Ewing, we got Steph's dad, oh, I guess Pat Ewing goes over here. Does Steph dad go over there? Sure. No. I mean, Drake wore his jersey, he's a star now. I mean, we got another Kenny Martin Y2K. Here we go. We've got Walt Williams, Tony Batty, and there's your graphic jam of Larry Hughes. Larry Huge. Robinson, 
Terrell Brandon. Oh, we think there's something stuck to the back, right? Yeah, I'm paranoid now. Jason Kidd. <laughs> Another Y2K of Kenya Martin. What is it, like three subs? Here's our penny. Of those. Not the parallel we wanted. Though. Y2K cards, we just yeah. keep getting the Kenyan. Nick Anderson. Michael Dickerson. Lucius Harris. Forever Knight. And there we go, True Talents Kobe. Clarence Weatherspoon, All-Star Antonio Davis. The one-year All-Star. Did he make an All-Star team? I guess. All-Star so, Antonio Davis. So did Anthony Mason and a lot of other players. T. Wells. Michael Adams. Joe Smith. David Wesley. Stevie Franchise. We got Cedric Sabalas. Rod Strickland. Kobe Y2K. Mm -hmm. And star rookie of Keon Dooling. That's your first rookie. Yeah, rookies. No. You loved Keon Dooling back in the day. I did, not anymore. And did you at one point? He didn't really pan out. Okay. That, that star studded Clippers okay. rookie class. Love is forever. Uh, what are the odds of rookies? Are those like inserted? Dirk? It's a weak picture of Dirk. Yeah, I know. Jalen Rose. Rashard Lewis. Steve Smith. Elton Campbell. Like that Elton Campbell picture compared to the Dirk. Didn't the Mavericks change their jersey after his rookie year? Mm, I don't remember when they changed it. Was a couple it. of years. Might have been a couple of years. Johnny Newman. Vitali. Patapatinko. Rashawn McLeod. Another Kenya Martin, it's like every other pack. And another rookie of Eddie House. Alright, we got Daryl Armstrong again. We got the Dream again. Lindsey Hunter. Your boy Lamar Odom. Where do you want me to put him? Mm, on the star, I guess. Weirdo. Michael Curry. All star Theo Ratliff. Calvin Cato was one of the best dunks I've ever seen. It's a good one. All star Jermaine O'Neal. Master of the Arts event. It's a pretty nice one. Yeah. It's a good looking set. Another checklist. It is a good looking set. All right, Matt Geiger. Rip Hamilton, Eddie Robinson, Damon Stoudemire, I'll go with a KG, Terry Porter, uh, Rosho Nesterovich, Anton Jamison, True Talents, Anton Jamison. Hey, I called it! Numbered of but Matt Geiger. And it's damaged. And it's stained corner. Hey. I like and how we started and Matt. ended with Matt Geiger. And it's Matt Geiger. Hey, come on. Show some respect, some love. Okay, good point. Bonji Wells. Oh, these are where we'll start. We got David Robinson. The Immortal, Mitch Richmond. Hall of Famer. Keith Van Horn. Ooh, another Hall of Famer, Irving Johnson. No, that's false. It's fake news. <laughs> Brian Skinner. Walt Williams. Tony Petit. Have we already gotten the entire base set? I'm seeing a lot of dupes here. <laughs> the base set is enormous. Tr Tracy Murray. And, oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I can do it. It doesn't seem that way. Okay, maybe I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Total Dominance, Ray Allen. All right, now since you opened that pack, I get them. All right, we've got Al Harrington, young Al Harrington. Al Houston, Chris Whitney, Joe Smith again. There's the players we haven't seen yet. David Wesley, that's a nice Reggie. Dunking, that's yeah. rare. Rod Strickland. And we're back to the Dukes. <laughs> Chris Carr. There's another Kobe. And graphic jam of Chris Weber. Yeah, I predicted the Mac guy here. <laughs> I got Elton Brand. Who is this? Jimmy Feek? You wanna say? Glenn Big Dog Robinson. Stefan Marbury. Hey, Travis Best, the Immortal, Luke Longley, and Corliss Williamson, uh, we got Marcus Camby, Eddie Jones, and a true talent, Zoe. So good, so good folks. No idea. This is, he might not have even been in that. Uh, Rashid Wallace definitely was, though. Darvin Ham, Jonathan Bender, Ron Artest, nice. Chris Childs, Michael Ruffin, Brent Berry. I thought that was Marcus Pfizer for a second. Oh, no, Brent Berry doesn't matter. We got Shamad Williams, Tyrone Hill, and a star rookie of Pepe Sanchez. Love Pepe Sanchez in college. <laughs> Where do you even go? Temple, I think. Let's see. He went to Temple. All right. Kenny, Mr. Chibs, Anderson, Bruce Bowen. This might actually be a Bruce Bowen rookie card. Make my own. There we go with a Timmy D. Another KG. George McLeod. Cedric Henderson. Tim Hardaway. Another Kobe. Brian Russell. And, ooh, nice. Lightning strikes of Kobe with a terribly mangled corner. That's the first lightning strikes. Sorry. First lightning strikes, what? Wait, so we've gotten the true talent, obviously. We've gotten the total dominance. We've gotten the masters of art, lightning strikes, graphic jam, a couple of them. So we've yeah. beat the odds on the graphic jams, behind the odds on the lightning strikes. So we got the silver. We're behind the odds on the masters of art. And we're probably beating the odds on the true talents, which doesn't take much. Nice, Corey Benjamin. Ah, Shaq Wheel. Nice. Johnny Stockton. Carrie Kittles. Another Kobe. Shannon Anderson. Rick Fox. Hubert Davis. Tom Googs. And then a Masters of the Arts of McDice. All right, so you guys saw the packs. You saw what we pulled. Uh, we did do well, I feel. Uh, unfortunately, we got some damage inserts. You know, the lightning strikes, I was bummed. We actually got two bad corners on that. Kobe lightning strikes. And this is a pretty cool looking card. So uh, this would have been a nice one. My wife is a big Kobe fan, so she would have enjoyed that card. But uh, that's the that's the way it crumbles sometimes. Very nice getting the silver of Matt Geiger. Would have loved to get the penny, as I had said. Uh, you know, would have loved to get a star. But getting any that's numbered to 500, you know, at this point in time was, was very rare. It's not like it is with Panini now. But, um, you know, that was fun to pull that. You know, we got almost an insert card in every single pack, which kind of runs true with what my memory was. We had uh, 18 packs and we had 14 insert uh, cards in each. So we had a few that we got the rookie cards in. Uh, you know, nothing really to write home about in this rookie year. 
you know, the number one pick was Kenya Martin, so we got a bunch of the uh, bunch of the subset cards. These aren't worth a whole ton, uh, but they are cool looking cards. And then outside of Kenya Martin, you know, the stars in the rookie class, Darius Miles was a huge player uh, in terms of hype in, in the hobby, and he didn't pan out. And I think if you look back today, the best rookies in the class were Michael Redd and Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford's still playing at a pretty high level. Uh, Michael Redd had some great all-star years and uh, then had injuries sideline his career. So, you know, some fun players. And I remember a lot of these players watching these players. My brother you know, talked about how I like Keon Dueling. I, I also, I know we've talked about this before, I really like rookie photo shoot pictures. For whatever reason, I love having those on cards. So that's fun. Uh, I prefer those over a summer league picture like we have with Pepe Sanchez, you know, talking about him with Temple. Uh, Courtney Alexander, another rookie photo shoot. Eddie House with Celtics, he had some, some great years. So, you know, fun memories with a lot of these cards, but nothing with a ton of value. You know, these packs aren't terribly expensive. You can probably get some of these packs online for about $5 a pack, maybe sometimes a little bit more. Uh, I would definitely say if you're looking at a box, you're going to be paying a little bit more for a sealed box as usual. Uh, you know, it's not just kind of taking the per pack price and multiplying it, but if somebody's selling loose packs and they're looking for $10, I would stay far away. As you see with these, it's a very large base set. You get basically every single player. So getting a parallel, while it's very rare, you could get a Matt Geiger, which is not gonna be worth a whole ton. You could get Chris Mills, you could get, you know, some of those common players rather than getting some of the star power, uh, you know. And then getting the jersey cards, you know, we had a number of packs, almost a full box really, because a full box is 24 packs. And not a single jersey card, which you don't expect to see, uh, you know, with it being one in 287 packs just for a regular jersey, and then the other variations of autographs and combos on top of that. But uh, you can see cards at this point in time is really about the inserts, really about the base, and those jersey cards were very, very hard to pull. So, you know, that's what we got. Uh, and I talked a lot about the memories that I have with these, you know, these two penny jersey autos. These were very fun cards. I would have loved to see us get another one. Uh, not in the cards today, but maybe another time we'll continue hunting for jersey cards and upper deck packs. I've yet to pull one personally out of a pack, but I'm sure someday, someday I will. I know other people, my brother has, and I know other people who have, but I have not. Uh, so question of the day for you, as we saw, these inserts were about one per pack in overall odds, a little bit less than that. So. Do you like seeing insert cards inserted frequently and being able to know that you're gonna get a pack, you're gonna get something cool looking or at least different looking with insert cards or do you rather see just getting base and just having more of the rare hits? So drop that down in the comments. What do you think? Do you want insert cards in every single pack or do you want to kind of hold out and, and wait for fewer rare hits? Uh, as always, thanks for watching these pack openings and these videos. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon down in the corner so you don't miss any videos in the future. New pack openings like this will drop on Wednesdays and any bonus videos will drop on Fridays. Thanks. We'll talk later.